today, um, I just have a review slash giveaway uh, of Dateline um, by Machine Codex. Um, they've been gracious enough to uh, give us a copy to give to one of you guys. So um, directions at the end of the video after the review, um, how to get in on that. So um, what Dateline is, it's an app basically for your desktop to um, well, just show you the days of the week. It's like, it's like a calendar. Um, and uh, there's two versions. There's the free version and there's the advanced version where you have to register and you get a key. It's $4.95. Um, and uh, I would actually recommend buying it. Um, it's not very expensive, but uh, it's very useful, very handy. I use it all the time. In uh, the free version, um, I'll, what I'm going to do now, uh, you get all the basic stuff. You, um, it's actually horizontal across your screen. Um, you can change the uh, the dimensions of it. You can change the fonts, the colors, the opacity, um, where it's at. Like it floats above windows, below windows, um, stuff like that. And uh, let's just kind of get into it. Okay, so you see it over here on the left side of the screen. Um, it's vertical right now. Uh, and you see these, the first thing that kind of pops out that's strange are these boxes around the um, the 10th and the 12th. And what they are, they're actually iCal events. So if you hover over them and you click on your mouse, uh, sometimes, um, they show you what event you have that day and what time it is. Um, which is kind of useful if you have a lot of events. But I don't have a lot of events so I don't use it that much. But it's still a neat feature. Um, so if you go into preferences just by right clicking and then preferences um, in the appearance tab um, in the day today and date line you can change the colors and the opacity of um, the app itself um, which is kinda cool you can also change the dimensions um, see how much it gets scrunched if, if it's less pixels and it spreads out more if it's more pixels I think that was at what, 1025 maybe? Yeah, okay. Um, you can also change the fonts, um, the shapes of the day that it's marked. Um, like right now it's a diamond. You can change that to a circle or a square. You can change the window level. Like right now it's at desktop icon level. Um, like if you change it to floating window and you open up a window, it's above the window. Kind of self-explanatory there. Um, you can also... Um, you can do a shadow if you want, um, but you can't really tell right now because I have a black background. Um, or the month title, and January 2010 is up there. So yeah. Um, see, basic features is just, very, it's very basic. Um, but actually, the basic, it's actually horizontal across your screen. And you change the stuff. Um, if you do pay $4.95 and get the key and then... Um, the license key, uh, you do get the advanced tab opened up. Um, there's a couple of neat features in here, like uh, I have mine vertical usually, just because it's a little bit neater, looks nicer on the screen. Um, yeah, and as you see right now, I have to drag it back if you change the position, um, which is kind of annoying because uh, that's one thing I wish they would fix. Um, also, I think in the free version, you should be able to lock the dateline position. Um, just so you're not like actually dragging your mouse around and you click on something and it drags across the screen. Because it does take a while to put back. It's a little bit laggy, which I'm not a huge fan of. But you can't really complain. Um, you can also have a display in the center of the screen. The date, like today's date, in the middle. So the 12th would be in the middle. And then it counts back and back up. So... And the 31st would be up here, and the 27th down here. Um, yeah. You can also change the pixel width of uh, the iCal events, and you see it just changed. I like to, just it stands out a little bit more. Um, you also don't even have to show your events from uh, iCal. Um, so yeah, there's, there's just a few, um, few things uh, for the advanced version. If you definitely like customizing your Mac, and um, you have 495 laying around, I would definitely recommend buying this. Um, it's a really neat app. It's it's very useful, um, and it's like you can't do much with it, but it's very useful. I use it all the time, um, looking updates and stuff. So you don't have to if you don't have 
it down here you can search iCal and then wait for it to open up and then you'd have to go to month view and look at it this is just it's, it's really neat um, so once again thanks for Machine Codex giving it to us um, licensing it to us uh, so we can have um, we can do a giveaway okay guys um, thanks for watching um, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and stick around for the giveaway instructions. Okay, guys. Um, if you would like to get Dateline and you want the advanced version, you don't want to pay the $4.95 for it, um, this is what you're going to do. Um, you have to subscribe to our channel, Die Tech Guy, and you have to comment. And you're going to comment with the DT giveaway dash, and then your comment, whatever it may be. Um, great bit. Um, so yeah, that's all you have to do. We'd also like you to rate and comment, uh, be truthful, um, give us criticism um, so we can do better and in turn make better videos. Uh, we're going to wait till we get 200 subscribers before we do the giveaway and then within the following days after, the, um, after we reach 200 we will give it away using random.com is what I think it is. And uh, we put all the names in there and then we um, make a new video and see, show who the winner is. And if you are the winner, you're just going to contact us through um, personal message. Um, and we will get to you and give you instructions on how to do it. So guys, thanks again for watching. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And uh, good luck in the giveaway. Peace.